What's going on, fam? It's your man, VayKJ. And today we have an exclusive clip from BMF Stars. They just dropped it. Here's one of Pastor Swift's many secrets that's being revealed with this exclusive clip that you just watched. And absolutely, if you're brand new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Absolutely like, comment below. And we're going to get into this exclusive clip and break it down. So we're here at the Southwestern Pentecostal Church where Pastor Swift is the minister. And it looks like he is waiting on somebody to come in. Don't know who it is, but he's waiting for somebody to come in. And we've already seen the clip, so we know who it is. And he walks in. He's walking in, talking about, yes, Lord, right? <laughs> yes, Lord. Coming in with the marijuana <laughs> in his mouth, talking about, yes, Lord. Look like he's coming through the back door, something like that. And it's like, yo, this is 10. Some people call him 10. Some people call him tiny. I'm going to keep calling him 10. He's walking in the door with reefer in his mouth. And Pastor Swift is like, how many times I got to tell you, don't be bringing these fast girls up in here and don't be smoking that weed. Don't be smoking that reefer. Now, the thing about it is, what is his relationship with Pastor Swift? That's what I want to know. What is his relationship with Pastor Swift? Why is he telling him he can't stay there if he's going to be doing this stuff? That's, that means that he's been staying there for quite some time, right? So Pastor Swift has been letting 10 stay at this church, at the church, for some time. So we want to know, what is his relationship with 10, you know? And of course, 10 is like, no, nah, I'm not doing any of that. I'm not bringing any ladies up in there. I'm not smoking reefer when he comes in the door with reefer in his mouth, right? So what is their relationship? Is that his uncle? Is Pastor Swift his uncle? Is Pastor Swift his father, right? He's like, listen, you can't stay here if you're going to be doing all this and that. But he keeps telling him, nah, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I swear, right? He's swearing inside the church that he's not doing that. But yet he walked in the church with reefer, with a joint in his mouth, right? So, of course, Pastor Swift, he's like, listen, man, don't be trying to fool me. Like, <laughs> you walking in here and... You know, I'm smelling stuff. I'm seeing what's going on. I'm smelling what's going on. Like, you can't you can't pull a wool over my eyes. I see what's going on, and I know what's going on. So he's telling 10, he's like, listen, man, it's two things that I smell. You know, it's two things that I'm smelling right now, right? So you can try to fool me, but there's two things that I'm smelling, and both of them is going to cost you some money. Meaning that if you bring in girls up in here and you smoke weed in the church, it's going to cost you some money because you paying a lot for both of them. <laughs> you paying a lot for both. So Pastor Swift, you know, he's an OG. He he knows what's going on. I'm sure before he became a pastor, he was doing the same thing. So he's breaking it down to him like, listen, man, it's going to cost you. If you're going to come up in here and stay up in here. So we know now that 10 is staying at the Southwestern Pentecostal Church and Pastor Swift is letting him live there. So now we know where 10 is living. Man, we finding out a whole bunch about 10, like for real. And now we finding out a whole lot about Pastor Swift. So we seeing that 10 is listening to him. He's like, oh man, okay, here it comes, right? Here it comes. So I'm sure that 10 has been paying him some money and giving up some dough right to stay where he's staying at because it's obvious that he's not staying anywhere else if pastor swift is like hey you can't stay here if you're going to be doing all this fast stuff not in this church but he's letting them know i do have a church to protect from all the stuff that you're doing i have a church to protect so it's time to give up them funds so he's like i don't have just a church i have a big church to protect so he's letting them know listen you need to come up off that green if you're going to be having girls up in here, if you're going to be smoking reefer, you're going to have to pay for it all. You know, you're going to have to pay, uh, pay not just for them, but you're going to have to pay to pay me to keep you here, to allow you to stay here in this church and keep doing what you're doing or just don't do it at all. But you need to just give up some money. We need that benevolence. And uh, of course, he's <laughs> pulling out of money, giving him the money, reluctantly giving him the money. Uh, but it's time to pay the piper, right? If you're going to do this and that in the third, especially in the church, 
and he allowed you to stay there. You have a place to stay, a roof over your head. But I'm still wondering what their relationship is. And this is one of Pastor Swift's secrets, right? He probably has way more secrets, just like Tin has way more secrets as well. But this is a crazy secret being revealed right now before we go into that next episode. And this is this is actually wild, right? Because Tin is down with the 12th Street Boys. So it's obvious that Pastor Swift, he knows what's going on. Like, he sees the chain. He knows who the 12th Street Boys are. He knows who the 50, 50 Boys are as well. You know, he's probably definitely connected to the community. So he knows what's going on. But, hey, if you're going to be dealing with him, Pastor Swift, he wants his money. He wants his bread. So make sure you give him his bread if you're going to be staying up in his church, right? So Pastor Swift ain't playing. He's letting them know, hey, I thank you. You know, the Lord definitely thanks you for your benevolent contribution. <laughs> and of course, Tin is like, I'm sure, I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is grateful that I'm giving up this dough, right? But really, Pastor Swift is like, yeah, you, you need to give up this money if you're going to be coming up in here. And I'm letting you stay here. So again, we want to know what is the relationship between Pastor Swift and Tin. Definitely, if you have your theories or thoughts, drop them below. Hey, let me know. What do you think about this? What is, what is their relationship? Are they related? Are they not related? Is Tin just staying there? You know, again, some of you call him Tin. Some of you call him Tiny. Is he just staying there and just paying rent or paying to stay there? You know, why is, why is Pastor Swift letting him stay there? Like, he must be related. Either he's a nephew or that's his son. One of the two. You guys let me know. You know what it is. It's your man, VKJ. And again, I appreciate your love and support. Can't wait to see the new episode tonight. If you're excited, definitely comment below and let me know your thoughts on this. Because this next episode, they about to drop a whole lot of secrets. And we're going to see exactly what that is. So you know what it is. It's your man, VKJ. I'm out. Salute.